Hello, could you ask? Hello, could you ask him whether the Village Voice is still a cool paper to read or not, or am I just a dag? What's the story? There? Oh, oh, he's pretty hard. I don't know if you'd read something like that. Paige, welcome. How are you? Good. How you doing? Not bad, mate. I want to know if you know it's the Village Voice. Is it still kind of a happening newspaper? I haven't seen it for a couple of years. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh well, it looks like I suck the York big Post one. New York Post is my paper. I suck the big one. Yeah, yeah he, re he reads the New York Post sports section, Maynard. Hey? He reads the New York Post sports section. All oh, right. You deaf old bastard. <laughs> All right. Okay, Jab. Why you go there? Thanks, Maynard. Uh, now, yes, Helmet, the four, the four people that are in the band Helmet, they're touring Australia for the fourth time to promote their fourth album, and we have Paige Hamilton here for the next four or so minutes, delighting us with a bit of David Hasselhoff, but I lie, and Helmet fans would know that I lie, because only three of their members have been to Australia before, and it's in fact only their third tour. Is this true, Paige? It is. It's our third tour. Uh, it's your third tour, and you've uh, you've kind of had Helmet have gone through, well, gone through, you know, have, have yeah, had we, three different guitars gone, in their lineup. We've gone through them. Do we, do we discard them when they when they're of no no more, more used to us? We get rid of them. It's like dump them. And your original one, Pete Manged or Mangedi? Mangede, yeah. Mangede. Uh, Mangede. He's Australian. He's from Brisbane. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know what happened to uh, for him to get out of the band? Kind of got over the drinking beer all day, or? <laughs> Uh, personal differences, let's, let's just call it that. Okay. Politely. No, personal differences. Now, in the past few years, you've played all kinds of gigs uh, with bands like The Melvins and Tool, Regurgitator, Sonic Youth, The Beastie Boys. Have you ever found yourself on a, uh, on a slot that was a bit unusual? We played in Brazil with some very, uh, very bizarre uh, bands. It was kind of, it was a big festival that someone had set up, and uh, I, don't, I couldn't recall any of the bands. Big, uh, some big Argentina artist who did, sort of did a little of everything. He covered all the bases, a little hip hop, a little rock, a little balladry. Uh, some just kind of fusion jazz and stuff, wow. and the people loved him, and I thought they were going to hate us and, and stone us, but they, uh, they they liked us too. So. Oh, excellent. Very open-minded down there. Well, speaking of hip-hop, just uh, in the background, we can hear your collaboration with, uh, well, I can anyway, <laughs> uh, House of Pain and Helmet. That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, you've, you've, that was for the soundtrack Judgment Night. You've yeah. uh, contributed a song to the Crow soundtrack, which was a while ago now. Do you kind of... Have you collaborated with other people since then? Uh, the, the most recent thing I think I've done is a, an album with Kasper Bratzmann, who's a German uh, guitar player. His father's from the band Last Exit, sort of a crazy jazz group. He's a sax player, and Kasper plays uh, electric guitar like no one I've ever heard. An amazing musician. And we did a, a, just a two guitar albums, all improvised, and uh, it's, it's, it's good. I mean, it's, it's noisy, very noisy, a couple noisy guitars, just playing, having fun. Right, has that been released yet? Yeah, that came out on uh, a, a, a label in Belgium called Sub Rosa, and then a Rough Trade got involved, and in the US it's on it, Atavistic, and down here I'm not sure who, who puts it out. And what's the project it's called? It's, it's just Casper Brutzman, Paige Hamilton, and the album's called Zulu Time. Wow, yeah, it's, and you're it's, actually, uh, yeah. are you, pro, I mean, professionally trained is probably a bad phrase, but a ja you're a jazz musician. I'm professionally trained. Yeah, I like ja jazz, and I, st I studied for a while and stuff. I, I definitely don't have my jazz chops together anymore. So oh, okay. Just, just do the helmet thing, pretty much, and then what other, what, um, um, anything else that comes along that's interesting. And with the jazz background, can you see yourself uh, still being interested in the heavy style of music that Helmet play? Oh, know? of course, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, I don't really consider us sort of a metal band per se. I mean, I, there's, I think, you know, harmonically what jazz brings um, to you as a musician is, is uh, gives you, you know, a lot more options. And, and so, I, you know, I'm not, I don't consciously try to incorporate any of that stuff into Helmet's music, but just it, it probably sent me in a certain direction that influences what I write. And you kind of you're writing uh, most of the material for the band. Yeah, it's been been like that pretty much from the from the get go. All right, and where are the other two guys, John and Henry? John and Henry well, are and, uh, and, and, and Chris, Chris Chris Trainer, who just joined us this last year. They're down at Bondi right now, and I'm going to be joining them soon. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Now you don't seem to do much press. I was saying before, you know, you never do the the nude uh, Merrill Manson type details magazine. Right, right. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're, we've kind of shied away from the sort of fashion end of things, and and uh, uh, we try to maintain our boring image of you know four guys that just get up and play and uh, it just it just requires a lot of energy that, that I would rather be putting into something else. Oh, and how does that translate to how you feel about film clips? Um, I have kind of mixed feelings about it. I mean, we've done some videos that I thought were, were, were good and it just depends on the relationship you have with someone that's, that's, that's uh, directing the, the video. The last one was kind of a, a, a pain in the ass. Um, for exactly what you wanted, it, it, it just seemed to go on and on. And that's, the, the record company has a lot more influence than that. We don't, they don't come in the studio and tell us what to write or play. But when it comes to video, they have a lot. Of, they're very uh, um, involved in that, and, and so it's, it's kind of kind of difficult. And you know, anytime you're lip syncing, you kind of feel like the monkeys, you know. Yeah. But uh, it, it, I guess it's a big part of uh, part of music now. But 
But especially right now, because we're going to take a look at that clip. Exactly, <laughs> one is from the Aftertaste album, which we've got a bit of a battered old copy of it here. Helmet, they're touring Australia. Look out for them. Dates around the country. Get this album, get their other three as well. Magnificent band. Here you are right now, lip syncing and having a, a pain in the ass. Thanks for joining us, Paige Hamilton. Thanks, Yara. Helmet, exactly what you wanted.